The bloodthirsty encounter of El Chupacabra, Elsa and the Boss. The sun had set on the small town in Mexico, casting long shadows across the dusty streets. The only sounds were the occasional bark of a dog or the rattling of a passing car. Yet, Ross and Elsa didn't mind the silence. They had come to this remote village to escape the chaos of the city and rekindle their relationship. For the last three days, they spent their time exploring the town and its surroundings. They visited the local market, tasted delicious street food, and admired the picturesque landscape. But as the night approached, a feeling of unease creeped up their spines. They didn't know why, but the darkness seemed to carry something sinister. The villagers whispered about a creature that prowled the outskirts of the town, feeding on livestock and occasionally snatching a stray pet. They called it El Chupacabra, the goat sucker, a creature that resembled a hairless dog with fangs and glowing red eyes. Ross and Elsa dismissed it as a legend, a figment of the village's imagination. But as the night deepened, their skepticism faded. They heard strange noises outside their hotel room, scratching and growling that seemed to come from the street. When they peeked out, they saw nothing but a shadowy figure lurking in the darkness, too big and too fast for any ordinary animal. The next day, Ross and Elsa decided to investigate. They asked the locals about El Chupacabra, and though most of them shrugged it off as superstition, some spoke in hushed tones about the danger that lurked in the wilderness. One old man, with a face wrinkled like a prune, recounted a story about his friend's farm that was attacked by El Chupacabra. The creature ripped apart the barn door and slaughtered all the animals, leaving nothing but blood and entrails. Ross and Elsa listened with avid fascination, wondering if there was any truth to the tale. They asked for directions to the farm, and though the locals tried to dissuade them, they were determined to see for themselves. They rented a car and drove on a narrow dirt road that snaked through the hills. The scenery was breathtaking, but the tension in the air was palpable. They knew they were getting closer to something dangerous, something that could shatter their idyllic vacation. After an hour of driving, they reached a desolate farmstead, surrounded by a rickety fence made of rusty wire. The sight that greeted them made Elsa gasp in horror. The barn door hung on a single hinge, as if torn from the inside out. The ground was soaked with blood and littered with bones, some still sticky with flesh. But the most chilling aspect was the silence. There were no animals, no birds, no crickets. It was as if the whole place had been drained of life. Ross and Elsa stepped out of the car, holding each other's hands tightly. They walked towards the barn, their hearts pounding in their throats. As they approached the entrance, a faint smell of decay wafted towards them. The smell was putrid and made them both gag. But they couldn't resist their curiosity any longer. They pushed past the creaking door and stepped inside. The scene that greeted them was like something out of a nightmare. The walls were covered with claw marks, deep gouges that seemed to have been made by a creature with inhuman strength. The floor was littered with bones, gnawed and broken. In the center of the room, there was a pile of shredded animal carcasses, some still warm and oozing blood. Ross and Elsa froze, unable to comprehend what had happened. They had heard about El Chupacabra, but they didn't expect to find such carnage. They turned to each other, and in that moment, they heard a sound that made their blood run cold. It was a growl, low and guttural, coming from the corner of the barn. They turned to see a pair of glowing red eyes, staring at them from the darkness. 
Elsa let out a scream, and Ross pulled her behind him, trying to shield her from the danger. But it was too late. El Chupacabra leaped from the shadows, its sharp fangs glinting in the dim light. Ross tried to fight back, but the creature was too strong, too fast. It tackled him to the ground, sinking its teeth into his flesh. Elsa watched in horror, as El Chupacabra tore apart her lover's body, limb by limb. She tried to run, but she stumbled on the slippery blood and fell to the ground. The creature turned to her, its eyes blazing with hunger. Elsa had never felt such fear in her life. She knew she was going to die, torn apart by the animal that haunted her nightmares. But as El Chupacabra jumped at her, she remembered something her grandmother used to say. The demon can only be defeated with fire, she whispered to herself. And so, with a surge of courage, Elsa reached for a discarded kerosene lantern, lit it with trembling fingers and hurled it at the creature. The flames caught its fur, and the beast let out a piercing scream. It lashed out, but Elsa dodged its claws, and ran towards the car, leaving the burning barn behind. She drove for hours, sobbing and shaking, until she reached the nearest town. She collapsed in a gas station, and when the police arrived, she told them about the monster that had killed Ross. But they didn't believe her. They dismissed her story as the ravings of a traumatized woman, blaming the carnage on wild dogs or some other mundane explanation. Elsa knew the truth, though. She knew that El Chupacabra was real, that it roamed the wilds of Mexico, hunting for prey. And she knew she would never forget the horror she had witnessed, the terror that still lurked in the back of her mind. From that day on, Elsa lived in fear. Every night, she heard the growl of El Chupacabra, scratching at her window, trying to break in. Every day, she looked over her shoulder, wondering if the monster was watching her, waiting for the chance to kill again. She never forgot Ross, either. The man she loved, torn apart by a monster, a victim of a fate that was beyond their control. She prayed he had found peace, in a place where there were no demons, no fear, no pain. But for Elsa, there was no such place. Only the memory of the horror that had reshaped her life and the knowledge that if El Chupacabra ever found her again, it would be her turn to face the flames. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.